Welcome to Websense Pro with another tutorial with another Shopify tutorial and a very demanding tutorial. So we have been receiving a lot of comments related to different section on desktop and mobile. So if you have a Shopify store and you are trying to place a different banner for the desktop version and a different banner for the mobile version, then this tutorial is for you because I'll walk you through step by step process on how you can display a completely different image on your mobile version of the website. Okay, so that's my Shopify store and uh, that's the desktop version and if I go to the mobile version, you can see that it's a completely different image, right? And in this video, I'll walk you through how you can do that. Before we proceed, I would like you to comment down on the video below to let me know how can I improve and please don't forget to subscribe the channel because that's all what I'm asking from you. Okay. So that's the back end of my store and uh, that's the theme. So what I'm going to do, I'll publish this version of the theme and show you guys how I did that from the scratch. Okay, now I'm going to publish this theme. And now let's preview this one. Close the other tabs. And that's how it looks like for now. Now what I'm going to do, I'll change the banner. Let's go back to customize and that's my image banner. So I'm going to update the image. Let's select the first image and let's take this one as for the desktop. And now let's, it's just the height to make it a little nicer and remove the overlay. And I'm going to remove the container from it as well. Okay, it's already hidden. Perfect. Now let's remove the title here. And remove the button. Perfect. Now that's our desktop version of uh, the image banner. Now click on save. Now let's take another section. Image banner. and move it right below the first one cool now i'm going to remove the button and some extra stuff which we don't need and now i'm going to place the image which i want to show in the mobile version right okay now click on the first image here and that's the image which i want to show in our mobile version right check mark and then click done. Okay. Now you can see that we have two banners showing up, right? Now what we want to do is just, we want the first one to display on the desktop version and the second one to display only in mobile version. In order to do so, I'll provide you a CSS code, a very simple CSS code, which you can add in your code editor and easily do that, right? Now first let's save. And now let's go back to here, my theme section and click on these three small dots and then click on edit code. Now let's search for base.css file and in base.css file, scroll down to the bottom and add the code which I'm going to provide you guys in the description. So there's a link in the description from where you guys can copy and paste the CSS code, which I'm providing right now. Okay guys, so that's the code, which you will find in a blog post available in YouTube video description. And in this code, you'll have to update the section ID. So that's for the desktop version as mentioned here, code for desktop banner. And that's the code for mobile banner. So you will have to add the section ID here and where you can find that section ID. Let me show you. So let's go to the store. And now if I refresh, you can see that I'm seeing both of the images. So that's which I want to display on the desktop version and that which I want to display in the mobile version, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my right click and then click on inspect. And from there, 
I'll find the ID of this banner. And how can I do that? So when you scroll over the code, you can see that that's the banner, which we want to hide in mobile version, right? So that's the desktop version, which we want to display and we want to hide it in our mobile version. So what we're going to do, we'll find the ID for that. So that's the ID you can find here for that desktop version, banner dash template dash dash all these number and then uh, the image underscore banner. And if I scroll down and hover over on this banner, you can see that the diff of the mobile banner, which we want to display, and that's the ID of this banner. Now what we're going to do, we'll copy the desktop version banner ID on our code. So just copy this ID here and paste in our desktop version banner. And similarly, we will be doing that for our mobile banner. So that's the version which we want to display only in mobile. We don't want to display it on the desktop version, right? And now let's find the ID for that. You can see when I hover over this div, it highlights the area which shows me which div ID I want to copy. Now that's the ID. Now I'm going to copy the ID and paste in my code. So I'm just going to replace the ID here and here and then click save. So make sure to update the ID for the desktop version on this code. And for the mobile version, we have two IDs to update. Okay, now click on save. Now once saved and now let's check out our desktop version first. Now we should be seeing only one banner image in our desktop version. Now I'm going to hit refresh. And now as you can see, I only have one banner in my desktop version. And now if I go to the mobile version, you can see we only have one mobile banner in our mobile version. Now what we can do, we can uh, display different images based on the desktop and the mobile version. So all we have to do is just change the first section image. So if I go to customize, now let's open up customize in a new tab. Now you can see that this banner is responsible for the desktop version image banner. And this one is for mobile version image banner and we can change the settings like image height and uh, all of the other stuff which we can do. So it, it will work separately, the desktop version and the mobile version. All you have to do is just paste the CSS code, which I provided and update the ID of that banner. Okay, guys, that's it for the tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you are having any difficulty understanding this tutorial. I'll try to create a separate tutorial on how you should use uh, inspect element and how you should use Chrome developer tools so you can get a better understanding. And I have also created CSS tutorial. So I'll uh, put the link of that playlist in the description from where you can increase your CSS learning. And that's it for the tutorial, guys. Until next video, have a great day.